These are idols. That's what these are. These are idols. That's what, the, that's what they are. Let's get it out of there, man. Get Psalms. Get Psalms 96, okay? Get Psalms. These are idols. Every last one of these kings worshipped idols. And we're going to go back to Ezra's. Read 96 and read start at the fourth verse Psalms 96 and 4 for the Lord is great and greatly to be praised for the Lord now the Lord is, is singular okay he's singular there's no need for all these gods the Lord is great and he's great to be praised read he is to be feared above all gods. Our God, the God of Israel, Ahiah is his name, is to be feared above all gods. Read. For all the gods of the nations are idols. All the gods of the nations are idols. And guess what? In case you think that uh, we're just pulling this out of the air, guess where these idols are erected today? In the Roman in the Vatican Museum, the Roman Catholic Church. See, what they did, and I'm going to go into it a little later, they switched the name of these gods and hit them with biblical names. They gave these gods biblical names to deceive the masses into following Satan. Go back to Ezra. What verse you left off at Ezra? Verse 14. Read. And the same shall twelve kings reign, one after another. Wherefore the second shall begin to reign, and shall have more time than any of the twelve. That and, was Octavian. Go ahead. And this do the twelve wings signify, which thou sawest. As for the voice which thou heardest speak, and that thou sawest, not go to from the out from the heads, but from the midst of the body thereof. This is the interpretation. What verse you at? Verse 18. Okay, stop right there. Here's a book by Simon Scarrow called The Eagles Pray. See the Roman army going out? Guess, guess who is the eagles pray? Every human on this earth are the eagles pray. And what they use? Legislation. Laws. To prey on the people. Okay. I got more. Here's one of the biggest idols. One of the biggest idols, brothers and sisters. Statue of Liberty, given to America by the French in 1886. Who was she before she was a Statue of Liberty? She was the goddess Ceres in Rome. And she's here in Rome with horns. Before she was Ceres in Rome, she was the goddess Astar or Easter in ancient Babylon holding a torch. Okay. Now we've, we've shown you the origin of the worship of the sun. We showed you the origin of idolatry and the following of gods. All right. Now we must move it from ancient Rome to the place we are we live in now, America. Let's go back to Daniel. Okay, and I want to show this in case people think that uh, 
This is a figment of our imagination here. Somebody tell me what's going on in this image here. Is that madness? Absolutely yes. All right. It says here, Above is a tablet from the early 9th century B.C., which depicts the Babylonian sun god Shemesh seated on the right, holding emblems of his authority, a staff and ring, and the king with two attendants on the left and the center. See that? See that circle, that wheel? Let's see if we can find this wheel someplace else. Let's see. In the wheel is the emblem or the symbol of Baal. And you would never guess we have that same symbol on his hat. And look next to him. Who was Baal? Let's find out who Baal is. I think we have something. Baal. This is your Pope, folks. Your Roman, yes, Rome. Your Roman Pope. We're going to get him, too. Baal. I think some people are going to feel a certain type of way when I read this, but I'm going to read it. It says... Though the god Hadad or Adad, was especially likely, likely to be called Baal, Hadad was far from the only god to have that title. Right? Let me go down here to the, to the end. Hadad was the son of El who had once been the primary god of the Canaanites. Pathion, and whose name was also used interchangeably with the Hebrew god Yahweh. So the YHWH that you're following today from the Tetragrammaton, the Jewish people put that in the Tetragrammaton, knowing that it was the god of Baal, the same god that was worshipped in ancient Egypt and Babylon. So they have deceived you into thinking that the YHWH is the Most High when it's Baal himself. The Jewish people got you on the Hebrew side and the Christians got you on the Christian side. And they all are following Baal. Symbol of the Babylonian sun god Shemes. Right, it's right here. Under Satan's priests. That's who they are. Let's not get the cart before the horse, though. Let's go back to Daniel. Go there. Daniel, 7 verse 8. I considered the horns, and behold, there came up among them another little horn, before whom there were of three the first horns plucked up by the, the roots. The three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. What three were that was plucked up by the roots? France, Spain, and Great Britain. These three, America came out of these three. France, Spain, and Great Britain. That's who he came out of. Re? And behold, in his horns were eyes, like the eyes of a man, and their mouth speaking great things. Yeah, they speak great things. Who is more proud than America? Re? Verse 9. I beheld to the thrones were cast down. And the Most High says, it says in Daniel, he beheld to the thrones were cast down. That after this empire, the Most High was going to throw down in this earth.
This is the last empire, the last superpower in the earth. Read. And the Ancient of Days did sit. Who's the Ancient of Days? That's the Most High. Go ahead. Whose garment was white as snow, and his hair, of his head like pure wool. His throne was like a fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousands and thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand, ten, ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were opened. I beheld, then because of the voice of the great words which the horn did speak, I beheld, even till the beast was slain, and his body destroyed. He says he beheld, to what? I beheld, then because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake, I beheld, even until the beast was slain. Until the beast was slain. Go ahead. And his body destroyed. And, and his body destroyed. So that's the future of this place. Go ahead. And given to the burning flame. And given to the burning flame. That's the future for following Satan. Revelations 13, 1 through 9. You got it? Mm -hmm. Revelations 13 and 1. And I stood up upon the sand of the sea, and saw a, a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. And upon his ten horns crowns. Having seven heads and ten horns. The seven heads are the seven empires that came before Rome. The ten horns came out of Rome. Read. And upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like a, unto a leopard. And the ten horns is who? The ten horns is the common economic union, or which, who, who you would call the EU today. Read. And his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power. Who gave him their power? And the dragon gave him his power. The dragon gave these empires their power. So you can't say that the Most High are behind these empires. The dragon gives them their power. That's why they fight against the Most High seed. Read. And his seat. And great authority. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed. And his deadly wound was healed healed. Yeah, they was wounded in 193 AD. But, as it says in this article, the Vatican again at peace with Italy after long quarrel. Heal wound of many years. When did this happen? This happened in 1942. No, I mean 1927, excuse me. That's a different date. 1927 it began and it was assumed and accomplished and signed in 1929. The deadly wound was healed. Let me read it. The Pope is again an independent sovereign ruler, as he was throughout the Middle Ages. Though his temporal realm established today is the most microscopic independent state of the world, and probably the smallest in all of history. February 12, 1929, the Pope became a sovereign ruler in the earth. That means... He has no authority over him in the earth. He can do whatever he want to do. In 1929. And guess who helped him with this? Guess who set him up and helped him? Not only the Jewish factions, the American powers. 